So today we're building a fortified fort with spikes all around it. And you can see that I've been testing here and we'll be using this sort of structure. And I got this idea from the channel night before dawn. So if you haven't checked this channel yet, it will be in the link down in the description. So let's go. So first thing you have to do to be able to build this structure. You will need to place a quarter log. Let me get one. So here. Okay, so first let's drop a quarter log here. And then we'll make these first. So first you have to drop this quarter log and then you have to make this squared foundation. Okay, we're done. Now we'll get the quarter log again. And put here on both sides. Two on both sides. So now you have to do this. Here. Now I have to drop this one here. Right. Next up, you get the quarter log and you place here. There you go. Now I have to be able this step by step to make that structure. So first you place a log here. And if you place a log here, it won't work. You will see that it will go through. What you'll want to do is place a log here and then place the log here with the arrow aiming inwards. There you go. Now you have a quarter log. Sorry, uh, now you have a half log here. Now you can remove this one and you can also remove this one. Now you can place a pillar here. And if you try to place a pillar straight from here, it won't snap there and we want it to snap there. So to make it snap here, we have to place a log here and then that one. And then after that's pretty easy. You place a log here, a log here, one here and the other here. So let's do this about five times. Now we can place these ones. Okay, so we have this basic structure for it. Now we have to place a log there. All right. So this is the foundation of one of the sides. And you have to do the same on the other side. Now you can see that in this side I had to make it a little bit higher. So we now have all the foundation for these spikes. Now let's make now let's place the floors. So inside of this fort you can build the way you want. I decided to put floors and then after that I started to put the ramps on the outside to put the spikes. So here it's a good idea to place three planks because you have enough space to put spikes and you can also kill cannibals and mutants from the inside. All right, so we already have the places to put the spikes. Let's start putting them. All right, now for that you will need a lot of sticks. First, let's place the sticks here. You can place as many as you want. They can be very close to each other. 
or it can be quite far. And you will see that if you are far, the sticks will snap. But if you go closer, you can choose better where you want to place them. And if you see that you are standing up and they are snapping, just crouch that they will stop snapping again. All right, so you have to put these spikes. And once that's done, you will go inside. You can jump through here. You grab your axe and you start hitting them from the inside. And that's how they will look once it's done. Just make sure that before you put the spikes in all of the sides, you have a rope gun that you can attach somewhere so that you can get up there safely. All right, just place all these sticks. So now I have to go inside and transform them into spikes. And for that, we'll use our zip line here. All right, we're done with the spikes. So I also added some traps in the corners. Not in this one, but in three corners. And the best thing about these is that once it goes off, you'll be able to repair them from inside. So if we go here, you will see that we're able to repair them from here, reset them from here. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.